Christmas special. Gather all your equipment, but to start off with, nothing necessary. <laughs> Roll your shoulders back and down, feet apart, second position, turned out. We're rotating. Okay, so when you're into that twist, deep breath in. And on the exhale, release. So find your own tempo for this. You may want to move through the music or go really slow and release those areas of tension. Just keep a gentle squeeze on those turnout muscles, those glutes, to support that gentle, easy turnout. Okay, let's focus on the lower body for a moment, hands on the hips or any arm position you choose. Gently softening one knee than the other. Flicking and cracking is optional. So we're starting nice and gently today. Just easing into those achy muscles. Here we go, we're going to do a little knee bend, plie and twist. Other side. Scoop the abs and protect the spine. If this is going into your neck, then lower the arms. Make sure they're below the shoulder line. If you're feeling well, try and find a little upper back extension, watching out for hinging into the lower back. to move through the music like before and feel free to develop that arm movement. Keeping those glutes engaged, the tailbone dropped, the abs are drawing into the spine. Feeling an opening of the chest and easing of tight areas in that thoracic spine, the ribcage area. Good. First position, we're floating the arms up and down. We're going for an oppositional arm now. You don't have to angle yourself, this is old habits die hard with me here. And again, we're going for just a little bit of opening of the chest here. Feel free to angle the other way, change of scenery. Look out of another window. Uh, so we're sort of supporting those turnouts, whichever angle you've chosen, go gentle. With a gentle squeeze of the glutes. Don't over squeeze, they'll tire very quickly. Inhale. Exhale down, side bend. Exhale over. Try the other side. Only go as far as you feel comfortable. Should feel really lovely to ease that spine. Good. Roll those shoulders back and down. So that was almost your pre-warm up. This next, next section will get us moving a little bit more now. At some point I may need to remove my wings, particularly when we get bands involved. <laughs> so bear with me, I may have to take them off. Yes, I did raid my children's fancy dress. We're going to stretch. Just keep reaching, alternating sides. So if you're trying to collect baubles from the ceiling. Let's keep it festive. Now we've got a change. Now here's an alternative. So you can just swing the arms, turn out the toes, go side to side. This is option one. I'll give you option two the next time we get here. Depends on your mobility, you see. Okay, let's return to those ceiling reaches. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm doing this one in parallel. Feel free to turn it out. 
drop those shoulders down the back and reach from that side. So you're not reaching up from the shoulder here, you're stretching out those lats out to the side. Good, here's option two for that sway. So you can swing the body side to side. If this doesn't feel good, come back up. Keep going, you're doing really well. I know it's hard for you to see. Keep swinging side to side and let the head hang down. Good, now we've got a slight change, a reach. A little bit of a jazz style shift of the rib cage over there. Once you've got the hang of that, start to speed it up. You should feel like you're releasing some tension in the back there. Speed it up if you're ready. Floating soft arms, relaxed shoulders. Let that rib cage shift side to side whilst you keep your abs engaged. Corset strings pulled nice and tight. Sugar plum fairy style. Good. Option two, swing here or swing down. So hang your head, look between your legs. I'll tell you when to come up. Another eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ceiling high, one, two, three, four. Try and reach higher and higher every time, finding the spaces in between the rib cage. Another set, two, three, four. Engaging the abdominals here, remember, drop that tailbone. Let's go for that rib shift. Other side. You can speed this up or stay with me. Still breathing? Good. Brilliant. We're into our next section. We're into squats, happiness and joy. I can hear you say, hallelujah. <laughs> Either pop a small ball, Pilates ball, between your knees to get the squeeze or pop your feet into a band. Here we go, ready. Toes facing forwards. Drop the tailbone, lift out of the hips. Go for a diagonal line, 45 degrees at the ankle, knee and hip, or turn so you can see. Not too low. You want your weight slightly shifted back as if you're going to sit on a high chair. Seven, eight. Ready for some speedy pulses. You know what's coming next, don't you? Squeeze into your band or into your ball. Out into the band or into the ball. See if you can do another set. If not, just hold that squat down. Shaky, shaky. Here we go. Ready for rise and lower. Feel free to add your ballet arms here. That's the last one. Slow. Speed it up. Let go whenever you can. Two, three. Still smiling. Six, seven. Slight lower of the heels. We're playing on a rise or a knee bend if you like. Three, four, keep going. Four more, four. Lifting out of those hips, long waist. Two, one. Don't go too low down, just a gentle pulse. Relax those toes on the floor. Good. You can press into your wall or your band now. Now we're trying not to run onto the outsides of the feet while we're doing this, that's a challenge. Go for another set if you can. If your arm is starting to feel tired up here, just pop that hand on the hip. Woo. Release it down. So we're rolling through the feet. Plie, heels up, rise. Option two, go with both arms if you feel on balance. But if you start to wobble those ankles, you're just going to further weaken them. So hold on if you need to. Reverse that, so reverse. Two, three, try and relax those shoulders. Don't put the tension into the shoulders and the neck. Pop it into your abs. Woo! And last one. Good. Let's return to those squats. I know you love them. <laughs> Every time you squat, you lower the gaze to match the line of your spine. Six, seven, eight. Lift a heel. This is hard with the ball, so just stay with both heels down if it's the ball keeps trying to escape. Change sides. Two, three, four. Good. Release 
sat down and we're going to gently walk through the feet. Speed it up if you feel okay. Again, the balls will try and work their way free, so you just have to replace it whenever it comes out. Broad shoulders, lifted waist. Here's a real challenge, speed it up. So with the band, you've got something to press into. A little bit of resistance there. Allow the heels to come down, but you've got a feeling of springiness. Feeling those calf muscles now, I'm sure. Good. Oh, rise and lower. Do a knee bend in between if you need to, if you're feeling too much tension in the back of the leg. Okay, all one. Two, so you can do the air rise, or do it straight leg. Lots of options. Okay, slight lower of the heels, plie and rise. So if you're feeling well in the neck shoulder area, feel free to find a gently rounded second position or hold on. Good, well done. Just finish this set and release down. Lose the band or the ball. We're into plies. Heels to together, don't force that turnout, just do it from the top of the legs. A nice squeeze. If you're feeling tension in the calves already, just give them a little bounce there. Here we go, we're into plies. And one, squeeze. Pop imaginary balloons between your knees. Now we've got a change. Pulse, two, three, stretch. Good. whilst you're popping them between the thighs. Ready for rises in first. One, two, relax that finger. Four, all fingers, five, six, you're nearly there. Seven, slight release to roll through feet. Plie, heels, rise and lower. Again, try not to roll onto the outsides of the feet. It nice and centered, even though you're turned out, have an awareness of that alignment there. Okay, place the heels together on rise. You don't want to be too high up here, so kitten heels rather than enormous high Vegas heels. So I'm sure you've got those. Good. Pulse it down. Pulse. Two, three, press up. This is where you go off me. And up. <laughs> two, three, you can place the heels down if you need to here, make it work for you, reverse, two, three, just reversing that arm, challenging your brain, good, two more, Whew. well done, I only have to do this in second position again, here we go, pulse, two, three, stretch, pulse, two, three, Stretch, pulse, look around the room, it challenges your balance, gives you something different to look at once you've got the hang of the movement. Still breathing, feeling those thighs warming up beautifully, squeezing your bum to support the movement. Well done, you're nearly there. <sighs> Rises, up. Place the feet slightly closer together so you feel like you're actually going somewhere. Otherwise, you get an inch off the floor and feel terrible. Seven, eight, roll through the feet, plie, heels up, rise and lower. So we don't funk our way through these movements. We try and find the stretch that moves the moments in between the beats. Reverse. You're doing really well. Remember to keep the squeeze on the turnout muscles, your bum. Just one more of these. Plie on rise, hooray! Feel free to add your arm here. Hope you're still with me. Here we go, 
right, pulse it down. Pulse. Two, three, up. Exhale, 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 inhale. Really need to fully straighten those legs to get the most out of the movement. Make the most out of your time at your bar. Well done. Nearly there. Good. Lower it down. Shake your legs. Right, go grab your hand weights. No chair needed. No step ladder, I've seen. Oh, I love that people are using step ladders. So I think you've got the hang of this pattern if you've been working with me before. It's four slow, adding in a squat. I'm gonna pop a ball between my knees to give you the idea of what you can do. This is great, it will stop you from knocking your knees. So we're going to our bicep curl. Two, three, four. Hold it down into the squat and just gently pulse. Just wake up those muscles. Shoulder height. One, hold on tightly with little finger and ring finger. That will help engage your scapula, your shoulder blade stabilizers. Place the hands above the head, triceps. It's quite fast this one, isn't it? Well done, you're doing well. Pulse it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Bring the arms together. So we put our ballet arms. Gently pulse in. Don't meet with the hand weights, try and stop with them shoulder distance apart. Hold it down and open. Oh, that transition is so fun. Pulse it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Roll the shoulders back and down. Option to plie. Two more. Check your foot alignment. That's what I'm doing. Good. Find your guns, your biceps. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Pulse it. One for eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mentally prepare for outwards. Here we go. Outward rotation at the shoulder joint. Two. You don't need to squat, you can just plie or stand and do the arm work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Round the shoulders back and down. Getting ready, ready to hug a tree. Just stand nice and tall for this one. Crisscross the rest and open. Keep changing sides. Have an awareness of the shoulder blades on the back. Feel free to give it some sympathetic ear. That's a, a lifetime of ballet training that will do that to you. These movements become involuntary, involuntary. Good. Let's get those pets waking up. Down. You can do a knee bend if you need to give those calves a little bit of a rest. You can hold that plie as you pulse. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm only laughing because I nearly lost hold of my balls. Sweaty today. Good, ready for hug a moon. And love. Remember to squeeze your glutes to stand. Can you manage four more like that? Four. Well done. Three. Squeeze little finger and ringer. Ring finger. Master, remember to put teeth in. Roll those shoulders back and down. Let's get into these shoulder blades and we'll do some wall angels without the wall. Up, down. So you can do this standing up against a wall and the idea is that you want the backs of the wrists to be touching the wall. Right. Lose this kit, go find your long flex band. Hopefully you have a lovely two metre one, but you will survive if yours is only a metre and a half. Yes, we have Christmas music. Woo Standing on your band, parallel position. Here we go. 
go. Squat forwards, hold back. Squat forwards. That was a shock, wasn't it? <laughs>
So be really clear about where you're placing your foot. To the back, this one's hard. Find the length of the hip, keep the abdominals drawn in to protect that low back. Fully straighten that supporting leg. Here we go, we're going to the front. Up and down. Five, six, seven, eight. Flex to the side. Three, four, five, six, seven, and again to the back. You've got the idea of the pattern now, haven't you? Now you either stay at that, or this is hard, you gently bounce. It's a PK action. Okay, to the side. Flex. Point. Gentle bounce. Don't bang your tongue on the floor. Lots of thigh work here. Bring it in. Back. Yes, it is evil. I am standing on a bent leg though, so that helps me find my grounding. In. Down. See if we can find another set on each side. Come up that thigh. Lift. So you will be feeling that standing leg like crazy. Feel free to stop and shake your leg if you need to. Back. Oh. Good. Ah, oh, shake your legs. Yes, I am mean. <laughs> We're finding our fascial resilience there. So We're finding that bounce. Okay, I'll be nice. I'll give you a little figure four stretch. So we're folding over that leg. Try the other side. You'll really feel it in that supporting leg. You'll need this. Really lovely stretch if you get oh, any nerve pain, low back, into the hip. Figure four stretch is your best friend. Okay, into the IT band. We don't want to get too wobbly and bendy, but I just want to give you a rest before we do the other side. Lift it out of the hips and side them and lean. Make sure you're holding on to something sturdy, not like me with my wobbly chair. Try the other side. I'm turning away so I can use the chair for support. So same arm, the standing leg is overhead. Well done, guys. All right, so we're going to do the other side. Damn. <laughs> we have to do the second side. Why, why? Okay, getting ready for side leg lift. Spot the difference. Here we go. Ooh, one. Close, two. Close, three, four. Lift up the hips. Six, sweaty, seven. Eight. Yes, I have put the heating on too high as usual. I felt cold this morning. <laughs> I went fast for those. Good. Right, okay, so tip. Well done for keeping up. I meant to do a slow pulse. Four. Four more. I'll try and keep this next set of pulses slow. I really love fast. <laughs> Here we go. And eight, seven. Slow helps you find your parallel. Lift out of the hips. Oh, good, lovely. Bring that foot in and up and place it down. Okay, hope you're good at that speed. Up to the side. Still breathing. To the back. Please keep that belly button drawn into the spine so you're not lifting the tail. Here we go, we've got that change. <sighs> Flex, point, lift, lift, lift. Seven, eight. Flex, point, lift, lift. Five, six, seven. I was trying to stop myself from going fast. Three, four, spread the toes and the standing foot, it'll help your balance. Flex, point. Four, five, six, seven, eight, flex. Point, we're going for this other step, slow. And back, 
Yes, it hurts more on the second side because you always go for your stronger side first. I'm right there with you. Let's bounce it, PK style. You can stay slow if you need to. Keep that leg pulled up. Find that gentle bounce without hurting your toe. Ooh, to the back. Hopefully you're still with me. <laughs> okay, see if you can get any more in. If you can go for another set on quoi in a cross. Stay with me. It's character building as well as strengthening. Last set to the back. Oh! Okay, well done. Figure four stretch. Here we go. Ooh. Oh! My knees too. I give myself good telling off for doing that. Ah, other side. Oh. So working on that balance, there is a reason. If we can find that bounciness in our body, it's that quick reaction that you may need at any time. In an emergency, if you've got to quickly stop a glass from falling off the table, if you've got to quickly dash and grab yours or someone else's child before they step out into traffic, because they do those kind of things, your reactions will be fast or faster. So we'll have nice strong hips and we'll be able to move quick if we need to. So let's mentally prepare ourselves for, for legs. Okay, so change your side. And then have a quick drink. Because that was savage. I know it was. Hopefully you all enjoy this. We'll ease out any tension that we introduced.
Hopefully it feels really easy to stretch now. And um, find that calf stretch. When you're tired, it's just so much easier. Okay, press that back heel down. Just hold that for a moment more. Scoop the abs, drop the tailbone, and release the shoulders. So if you have your pelvis in a more upright position, you should get more stretch out of those muscles. It's up to you to decide how you're going to do this. But I find this gets into that low calf muscle a bit more. Straighten both legs if you can. You can bend. Stretch out. If you're up here, that's fine. As long as you're feeling some kind of stretch here. If you're very tight, you may feel it here too. If you're bending, lift that front toe and breathe. Hopefully that feels lovely. Okay. So let's change sides again. We're just going to free up those legs by doing a lovely back on cloche or leg swing. Standing, I'm going to angle so you can see what's going on here. So I'm just going to ease that leg forwards and back. The knees bend here. The toes pointed because far. <laughs> now you can speed it up, but if you feel like you're going to hit your foot painfully, slow it down. Here's your chance to go long leg. Any low back pain, go for that bent leg again. Pressing through the balls of the foot, through the ball of the foot. If you want to find the height, tip forward with the body. Try the other side. Nice easy swing. The heel bone here, facing up towards the ceiling. <laughs> Feel free to speed it up. The height may go. If you speed it up, don't worry, it's about freeing up that hip. Keep those abs drawn into the spine. Straight leg. And just give me a few kicks. If you can, with the height and with the tip. Well done. So, we're into standing abs. So, do. Go grab your band for me. I'm going with my blue one. Because it's not a crumbled heap on the floor. Second position. Lift the arms up. Band is between four. Finger and thumb. Now if this is really bad for your shoulder joint, as in you are clicking, crunching, cracking, crunching your way through this, do it without the band. Or hold the band really loosely. It may graze the top of your head. But uh, we've got to make sure you can move comfortably. Knee bend. Other side. Because you're lovely and warm, this should be okay. But again, lose the band if it causes pain. So we're just letting any waste materials any lactic acid to find its way out of those tired muscles. Good, lift the arms above the head, relax the shoulders down, stretch the fingers up or squeeze, whichever feels better for you. Find your knee bend, find your side bend. It's not going to be huge. You're challenging your balance here. So most importantly, stay on your legs, spread the toes into the floor. So it's called standing out because you have to work your core, otherwise you'll be a crumpled heap on the floor. Now if you're feeling strong, feel free to spread that band a little wider. If not, don't worry, you can hold the band out to the side and find your out to the front and find your side bend. It's giving you options. You can hold it low. Try one of those, see which one you like best. We're going to draw a circle side with that knee. Find a double knee bend, a plie in second position, rolling forwards. Place your fingers on the floor if you need a bit of balance help. Changing, shifting over to that second side, 
drawing and up with the body, exhale, exhale, exhale will help get the back up. And again, you can do this with the arms in front of you, you don't need to have them overhead if you're feeling exceptionally tight in that neck, shoulder area. This is really hard, your core stabilizers are working crazy hard to keep you on your legs. Beautiful, well done. Still breathing, exhale for effort. Particularly hard when you're weary and you've done most of a bar class already. Well done. Good. And release that down. Relax the shoulders down and back. Just going to give your shoulders a little reliever. So we're going to, just in case you went into your neck shoulder area, stand on the band. Double it up, triple it up, just so that you feel you have some resistance to hold on to. Lift the shoulders to the ears, inhale. And as you exhale and release them down, new blood, oxygenated blood is released into the area. So let's squeeze out of the old, out of the old blood from that shoulder area. Obviously, if you're really suffering, just don't go so hard, just keep it a bit more gentle and small. which aren't too loud for this floor section, but I may have to run and turn the music down for you. Right, let's just see if I've put the mat in the right place. I'm trying to minimise editing today. There we go. Hopefully you can see there. <laughs> Sat the camera woman. <laughs> have a quick drink. Apologise to the glutes and the low back. The low back will get some love first and then we'll go for the glutes next. So let's do that shoulder bridge prep with some extra added tricep love. Press band across the top of the hips. Spread the fingers in a low V. Peel the spine off the mat. So you rib to hip connection. Abs engaged. Tailbone lifts off. Peel it up. Deep breath in. Roll back down, make sure you don't have a cushion or a head pad underneath your head. You need to keep it flat on the floor. Exhale, up. Inhale, hold. That's your endurance. Good. Exhale, peel it up. Inhale, hold. Exhale, roll down. Keep those fingers spread and press into the backs of the arms. That should stop you from tightening in the front of the chest as well. Good, so stretch one leg. Crisscross it over the top. Thread the needle and pull that in. Now if you are very tight in the chest, get your band. Pull it around the back of the thigh. Double it up, triple it up if you can, and then pull here. Notice how my shoulders are a little more relaxed here. Rather than me feeling tight and pulled in here, I'm pressing the backs of my arms into the floor and I'm getting my glute stretch on that crisscross leg, the one that's on top. Try the other side. Okay, so again, option to wrap the bands around the back. Deep breath. Feeling that stretch in the back here. Oh, that's lovely. Hopefully that helps you again. Oh. Okay, so come up any way you like. Oh, place your band in the centre of your mat. And you want to sit on the middle of it. Now, if you know that you struggle to lift out of your hips, you may want to sit on a block or books 
to do this. Okay. So we're going to start on one side. You may quite like to stretch this leg out or you may prefer to sit cross-legged. That music got loud, apologies. Let's see if I have to change this one. Down. So between thumb and forefinger, stretch those fingers, lift out of the hip. <laughs> lift that arm up and down. Now I'm going to lean forward so you can see my arm is slightly forwards of side. Now either stop shoulder height here or you go diagonal or all the way overhead and down. Make sure that this, if this leg is long, we're going to the kneecap towards the ceiling, the toes flexed towards the ceiling. Okay. Now if your shoulder neck area is tired already, feel free to just rest the arm here. Hold it out to the side or overhead as we side bend. And yes, we're reaching towards those toes, but we may not reach them today. Don't worry about that. Inhale, so the arm is either low or high. You're finding that delicious stretch in the side of the body. Your breath pattern is exhale over, inhale, hold. Exhale, return, good. If you have enough band, hopefully you do. Crisscross, feel free to cross that leg back in if you prefer. Crisscross, palm facing up. We're just going to give the shoulder a bit of love. Turn that palm up, rotate out and in. You can just keep the spine facing forwards here, or you can add a rotation. So we're rotating in that shoulder joint and in the spine, two for one. Good, huh? <laughs> Hopefully that's just easing any last clicks and cracks, any areas of tightness out of the back. Eight, good, lovely. So let's change sides. So if you are sitting with one leg out, it's time to change over. I'm just gonna move my drink. Have I got enough band? If you haven't got enough band, just shift and make sure you're not going to go into that neck. Good, so we're just lifting either shoulder height or overhead or on diagonal. There you go. Trying to hold the band with minimal tension. So exhale up. So feel as your arm lifts that there's a drop around about here. So the work's going further back, around the back of the shoulder blade, rather than lifting up into your upper trapezius here. Good, one more like that. Well done. Okay, so we're going to either hold the arm low, shoulder height, or overhead as we side bend. Exhale, inhale, hold. Exhale, move. Inhale, lift, exhale, over. inhale, hold, and down. Keep going for me, lift out of the hips. If you can reach your toe, grab it when you get there. Give yourself a little pull. This hip should be staying down, so don't let yourself rock from hip to hip. Be quite conscious of this, those two sit bones. Those bony ones you can feel when you do that. <laughs> they need to both be down. And then you get a true stretch. Make this your last one. That's plenty. Let's go for that dumb waiter. Holding the tray in the forearm rotation and close. And if you feel able, find a rotation. Notice how I'm using this hand to give myself a little bit of a, an extra push. Exhale, inhale. Feel free to go for an inhale as you rotate. Have a play with your breath pattern. So either exhale, rotate, or inhale. Mm. Or just breathe. Last one. That should feel lovely. Nice comforting movements, getting those shoulders down the back. That's the plan. Good. So, just give me a little bit of flamenco for the 
hands. They should be quite warm because you've been holding hand weights, been holding bands, but it's always good to give the sign of your fluid and your joints a little bit of love and it will encourage it to expand and take your body weight. And it should feel more comfortable as well. So let's shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Whoop! Your band around your back. If you can find it. Ideally, ideally it's spread across the back. I know you're thinking, what is she going to What is she going to make us do now? <laughs> We're on all fours. We've got the toes tucked, the knees underneath us. Gently find a nice comfy place here. Exhale, lift the knees an inch. Breathe in, exhale down. Just a little preparation for plank. No, we're not doing plank today. <laughs> but we're getting those core stabilizers engaged. So if you squeeze those knees together, stop when you need to. Squeeze those knees together, draw up the pelvic floor, keep going. I'm just gonna point at myself. And you should feel your abs engaged, just inside of and maybe slightly up of the hip bones, right in there. Strong out breath. Well done if you kept going without me. <laughs> Exhale. Inhale, through a pursed lip, very glam. Good. Okay, sit back on your heels moment, keep the band then. Deep breath, and we're going to cat stretch to uh, apologize to you for that. So exhale, round the spine, tuck the tail. You can open your knees now, relax the feet, and then the other way. Exhale, try not to dip in that back, in that low back. Keep the abs drawn in and just find a bit of extension in the upper. Exhale, round, inhale, hold. Little stretch to the front here. Last angry cat looking at its knees because it wasn't allowed to play with the Christmas tree and then fold over into your shell stretch. If you have a small ball, I can't reach mine, to place on your lap here, you just fold yourself over and breathe deeply. Into these parts of the low back, here and here, deep breaths. Well done. Good, lovely. So let's give those legs a little bit of band love. I'm sure you love that plank preparation. It's good really, isn't it? <laughs> hold one leg, either lay to your side and lay on your back or hold one leg and then roll down. Groaning is optional, come on Holly. When you're holding your band, Quick reminder, the band needs to go towards your nose, yes. Thumb towards your nose. And then you're holding it with a lovely straight rest. No repetitive strain injuries here. Right, so rock that pelvis backwards and forwards so you feel your hip bone, your pubic bone are on a horizontal plane. There's a slight curve in your low back. Any low back problems, imprint that spine. It's a safer place for you to be. Ideally, we need to find that low back curve. Okay, so we're holding our foot nice and flexed. We're holding the band with some tension, but beware that if it starts to roll up, it'll slap you on the nose. So just reset it whenever you need to. Here we go, straight leg if you can. You can do this with a bent leg. So if we've got any nerve pain, any low back pain, any irritation, just go for this like a toe tap. You can bend it as much as you like here. Or if you're feeling well, then you go for that long leg. Low it away, sniff in, press the backs of the arms into the floor, get those triceps involved. Good, now we're either going for a bent leg or a straight leg and we're circling. If you feel fine in the low, lower back, again, you can straighten that underneath leg. It should feel really lovely. If you're clicking, cracking and crunching your way through this, you need to make that circle a lot smaller. And then you should find that the clicking reduces or disappears entirely. We don't want it, we don't need it. So make sure that you're exercising within a safe range of motion. Don't feel discomfort. You should feel nice. Just squeeze the inside thigh so that you can feel you're in a strong parallel with both legs. 
because inside five muscles are working. They'll help to stabilise you. Good. Now bend that supporting knee again. And we're going for our deadly pain. Lower the heel. You can do this with the bent leg again. Bring the knee into the chest. Extend partly or fully and lower. So make this work for you. You may just be in this place and working at your hip mobility, even when you're working with bent leg. Stability. So my supporting knee is staying in parallel. Lower the waist, move it in. Remember that you can do this with a bent leg. Still want a feeling of inside knee. So imagine you had a third leg and that knee was bent and you were squeezing the knees together. That will get the inside thigh working. It will help to support you. Either bent supporting leg or bent leg. Both, not both legs. <laughs> or go for that lovely ease. So again, you've got Jacob Peg, the extra leg, and you're squeezing that extra leg against your real leg, just to get the inside thigh muscles working, change direction. One. Doesn't have to be enormous. We're just going for a safe, comfortable range of motion. Clicking, cracking, and crunching is telling you to reduce the range of motion. I'm going to bend my supporting leg and go for my deadly pain. Full, feel free to do this nice and small, nearly there. Extend overhead, lower the wing. Well done. Change back to the original leg, take your time, hold that band, support the foot wherever it is, bent is fine too, give that leg a little shake. Deep breath in, straight or bent is fine and gently give it a tug and it may, it may extend further for you, maybe it won't. Deep breath in. Try it again, either bend or straight. Give that leg a little bit of a shimmy. Deep breath in, and I let go of the tension now. Is your tailbone dropped or are you tucking it right under? Try and drop the tailbone down. It gives you a more realistic idea of what your mobility is. Down. <laughs> right, so we're holding with one hand, See where your mobility is, watch out for that rumbling band, mine's starting to, so I'm just keeping an eye on it. Give that leg a shake with your free hand. You really want to give it a good, 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 strong shake and that will release out any tension. Deep breath in, now release it. And again, give it a shake, holding, supporting that leg with the band still. Try not to let it go into the neck. Deep breath in. Tension goes now. It's a little bit closer to the split. Clipping optional. <sighs> Keep hold of your band. You're doing so well. Right. Let's just ease any tight lower backs. And for people who are feeling like they just finish on a high, they can add a bit of upper body, optional, absolutely optional. So we'll go for a half roll back to get into those deep abdominals a little further, hopefully you felt them when we were doing that plank prep exercise, leg pull front it's called, exhale, half roll back now, inhale, if this is hurting your tailbone or your sit bones, do sit on a cushion here. 
So exhale, scoop, spike, drawing in towards the belly. You have to start from a tuck of the tailbone, tuck, 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 tuck. If we've got any disc issues, we only want to go about here. Keep it small. If you don't have any disc issues, you go lower. And you can add just a little bit of upper body. Nearly there, guys. Do you know it's time for me to finish? Because you can hear ah, silent nights, which is what we started with. Hopefully that felt lovely for you and will set you up for your Christmas break. So do try and do that as much as you can over the next seven days and don't forget to break it up into sections. Check out how I broke it down in the Facebook group and I will post this with all your timestamps so you can just skip through to the section that you need. I hope that helps. Feel free to ask any questions and uh, yes, I'll see you in the group.